Hey, this is Jack Russell. And Robbie Lochner. From Jack Russell's Great White. And that just, just happened. happened. This is Roxy Summers with That Just Happened, and I'm here again at Rockfest 80s with the one and only Jack. What? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't see it. Wow. Okay, my apologies. What? <clears throat> Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that just happened. Really, that really just happened. Hey, this is Roxy Summers. I'm here with That Just Happened here at Rockfest 80s, and I am with Jack Russell's Great White. How are you guys doing today? Good, really good. Just uh, finished the show a little while ago, watched some Lita's show, and uh, I'm not sure he was coming up next, but I'm just sitting here drinking some beer ball juice, when I'm told. <laughs> That's what yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, That's that was an unpleasant um, discovery, I, no, I, I, I reckon. I understand the aftertaste. <laughs> oh, okay. So, moving on. Um, 30 years since the Once Bitten album, and you just released the Once Acoustically Bitten album. How has that been received? Actually, that has not. That's, that's, I'm glad you brought that up because that was a, a mistake done by our prior management company. When I say prior, I mean our management company that no longer works for us for various reasons. But that was a mistake. He put the wrong release date out. We have, I mean, we don't even have a release date for okay. it yet. Okay, well, that's what I thought. Was I have it, but couldn't, we couldn't find it. No, but I was like, maybe I'm just missing something here. No, it's just gonna. It's coming out probably the next three, four months, something like that. Okay, and, all right. And, and it sounds spectacular. That was see the first thing that happened was he he put the release date out, and, and, and I'm like, dude, we can we only have the record done by then. Okay. It was impossible. Possible to make it July, you know, it was we couldn't have done it. As a matter of fact, we're still recording it, and we wanted to take our time and make sure it's the best thing. Like, oh, right. Next week we want to do you do this album and put it out next week. We're looking and going. Well, you can do an album. What? Put it out the week. You can okay. Do that. It's like, uh, uh, you're so great, Jack. You're so great. You yeah, can do it. That makes me feel better because I was like, my research skills really suck yeah, since I can't no, find this. No, and I'm, I'm okay. so sorry, but I'm glad you brought that up. So okay, you know, so it people, is, it is, it is coming. coming out. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be called. Um, one, uh, one spitting acoustical bites. The cover's done, everything else is done, the, re the recording's almost done, we're just doing some last minute touch-ups and I want to do some vocal fixes, make sure everything's just the way I want it, but it's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful record. And, awesome. Uh, well, we can't wait. Airplay that they're, they're going to be giving us, so you'll actually be hearing us on the radio again. Wow. It's about damn time is all I got to yeah. say for that. All right, so last question here. We've been asking a lot of the artists, you know, these rock fests and Monsters of Rock crews, you know, these songs really last the test of time. Why do you think Jack Russell's Great White songs have lasted the test of time? What's the secret? Well, you know, it, it's kind of like I look at it. Somebody told me once, they said, you know, your music's a soundtrack of my life. And I was like, what an amazing way of putting it, you know, because it really, I look back at all the bands that, you know, I listened to when I grew up and there was always a time or a place that I could associate with a certain song or you know like a, I, this one girl um, more than a feeling her name was Sandy and, and you know I remember being in my, my uh, Chevy Malibu it's just there's a certain song that take, take you and bring back memories and that, that instills a certain um, I don't know nostalgia nostalgia yeah, yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I, I won't shake your hand again because I know that that kind of hurts, but thank you so much for talking to us and, and for being here and for helping all of us and the fans with the nostalgia. We love it. Thank you. So thank you. All right.